Hey guys, I'm back with another video and for today's video, I'm going to be shooting some light trails over an expressway and then I'll show you guys a super quick and easy technique to stack the sunset together with those light trails. The best thing about this super quick and easy technique is that you only need Photoshop and Lightroom. There's no downloads, no other applications, software or plugin required. Light trails make wonderful compositional elements because they're dramatic and they can be easily used as leading lines to lead the viewer's eyes into the scene. To start off, you need to find yourself a good vantage point with lots of traffic, such as over a bridge or at the entrance of a tunnel. Now, as a driver in Singapore, I find it quite scary sometimes to see someone with a tripod standing on the overhead bridge. Step 1. Set your camera on your tripod. It is important not to move your tripod or change your composition once you have it fixed. You need to have your tripod in the same position for as long as you are shooting. Step 2. Take your sunset exposure as per normal. Ignore the traffic. For the time being, we'll get to it later. Step number 3. Wait for the skies to get darker so that the ambient light in the scene is darker. The idea is that you want the lights to be more obvious than in the surrounding areas. This technique wouldn't work as well if the ambient light is too strong. Step number 4. Start taking a few long exposures. Your shutter speed will depend on how many seconds it takes the vehicles to travel the entire length of the road. In this example, it takes around 13 seconds for the vehicles to light up the road. Alright guys, welcome back to the editing studio. Now as promised, I'm going to show you guys the super quick and easy method to stack your light trails together with your sunset exposure. Now as you can see here, I've prepared a sunset image. Um, unfortunately for that day, we didn't really have a very dramatic sunset, but uh, the purpose of this tutorial is just to show you guys the technique. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and still use this image. Now as you can see here, I have uh, six images. So the first one is the sunset and the remaining, these are all just the light trails. So what I'm going to do first is that I'm going to come over here in the develop module. I'm going to bring down the highlights, bring down the shadows, I'm going to bring up the whites and uh, I'm going to bring down the blacks. So what I'm actually doing at this point is that I'm making the light trails more obvious. And uh, I know it looks terrible at this point in time but uh, just ignore it for now. We're going to go to texture, increase the textures, increase the clarity and increase the haze. Alright, so right now you can see we have really vibrant light trails. We're going to leave it like this and uh, I'm going to select all the images, all the light trail images. I'm going to hit Command Shift S on the Mac and I'm going to synchronize all the settings. Alright, once that is done, I'm going to make sure that I select all my images here. Right click, go to Edit In, Open as Layers in Photoshop. Okay, we are now in Photoshop. Uh, as you can see here, I have all the images loaded in as layers. So we're going to go ahead and drag our sunset exposure all the way to the bottom. And uh, I'm going to remove the visibility for the uh, light trail exposures. So you can see here we have our sunset. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, is it is very important not to move the tripod and uh, you can see that the images are aligned perfectly together. So this is why we do not want to move the tripod. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is that we're going to select our first uh, light trail exposure over here. We are going to go over to the blend mode, click on this normal here, and we're going to go and click on lighten. So what this does is that it's just going to select the brightest points of that layer and overlay it with the layer underneath. So as I toggle the visibility, you can see the light trails appearing and disappearing. But there are some areas that I don't want this layer to be seen. Um, just like this, blown out spots over here, uh, around the sides here, and uh, some of the lights on the building. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer mask. 
click on layer mask right here and then I'm going to brush it away. So select your brush tool by hitting B. Um, make sure that the uh, foreground colour is black. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush away the spots where I don't want the layer to be seen. So right here on the building. Over here. Alright, right here. Um, I kind of like that, so I'm going to leave this and I'm going to brush it away from the sides as well, so just roughly brush it away over here too, where it's a bit overexposed Alright I'm going to do some over here as well Okay, that looks good enough to me. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to right click on this mask over here and I'm going to click on subject, uh, subtract mask from selection. Alright, I'm going to click on the next layer above and I'm going to click on the layer mask 2 again. So as you can see here, it's generated another layer mask which is totally the same as the one below. I'm going to um, toggle the visibility and I'm going to change the blend mode to lighten again. Alright, you can see here I've added even more light trails. So I'm just going to remove it from the areas that I don't want it exactly the same as we've done before. And in fact, there's the missing light over here that I'm going to paint in. So I'm going to change my foreground color to white. You can just press uh, X to toggle it. And I'm going to paint it in so that I get it. It's a little bit too much. Um, maybe I change the opacity down a little bit. Alright, that looks good. So I'm going to do the same thing again. Subtract mask from selection. And um, I'm going to select the next layer above. Toggle the visibility. Go to lighten again. Oops. Uh, Make sure you remember to create the mask. And there you have it. We have another layer of light trails. And I'm starting to feel that it's a bit too intense over here. So I'm going to paint away some of it. I'm going to change the brush back to black. And I'm just going to manually brush away some of it by moving the flow down to about 30%. Alright, that makes it less strong. Okay, so we're now, right now we're going to do the same thing again. Right click, subtract mask from selection, click on the layer above, make it visible, change to lighten, and create layer mask. Alright, so we have some very nice sparks. It looks like almost like sparks over here. And uh, once again, I'm going to paint away the, the light, light trail over here that looks too obvious. So just to paint it off. Alright, one last time. Subtract mask from selection. Make it visible. Create the layer mask. But for this time, I'm going to do something slightly different. Instead of lighten, I'm going to choose screen. So what screen does is that it's, it's it does the same thing as lighten, but it would select um, slightly dimmer parts of the image as well as the brightest parts of the image. So as you can see, it's, it brings in some of the ambient light in the uh, sky as well as uh, on the roads. So there I have it. And uh, I'm just going to make sure that I paint it away from the city lights because I don't want it to be too strong. Let me change the flow back to 100%. Alright, just get rid of that. bits of it over here. Alright, and there you have it. It was so quick and so easy to stack all these light trails together with the sunset image. And um, yeah, this technique works very well, especially if uh, you got not enough traffic. 
Um, right now in Singapore, we're still we just gotten out of the lockdown period, so um, there's there's fewer cars on the road. So if you want to get a very populated, very dense light trail that um, on the roads, this is one very good technique to do it. And uh, yeah, like I promised, this is how you stack light trails together with a sunset image that is very easy, and you don't need any plug-in, you don't need any additional software to do it. So to finish this image off, I'm gonna bring it inside NYX Color Effects Pro um, just, to, uh, just to make the image look even better. So I'm gonna go to uh, File Automate, I'm gonna select on this NYX Collection, select Color Effects Pro. All right, as usual, I'm gonna start off with some Pro Contrast. So uh, that looks good there. Always remember to keep an eye on the, on the histogram just to make sure that there's no blown out areas in the photo. So, uh, yep, let's bring that down. Maybe we can protect the highlights a little bit. Okay, color contrast, um, that's not really helping. Alright, that's good. Gonna add in just a little bit of saturation. Alright, just love that pop of red over there on the road. Okay, I'm gonna add in a little bit of uh, darken and lighten. So what this does is that it adds in a little bit of v adding onto the image. We change the center to where the brightest part of the image should be. And uh, just tone it down a little bit. Alright, that looks good. Um, yeah, I think that's all that I want to do in NYX Color Effects Pro. So I'm gonna hit OK. Alright, that looks good. So the last thing that I'm gonna do is to just to apply a uh, high pass filter to sharpen the image. So I'm gonna duplicate this layer. Just click here and drag it to the plus sign over here. And then go to filter, other high pass. I have my radius set to 4.6 pixels. Hit OK. Change your blend mode to overlay and uh, bring the opacity opacity down. Okay, that looks good. Alright, so we're gonna save the image. Alright guys, once the image is saved, we are completed with the editing process. As promised, it's been a very quick and very easy technique just to show you guys how to stack light trails together with a sunset. Now if you watched this far in the video, do me a favour, post a comment down below to let me know what kind of video that you would like me to do next. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to leave me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single video. Thank you guys very much. Shalom. Goodbye.